Hi, I'm Trey Mayo. I'm the fire chief for the city of Winston-Salem. And today I'm going to read Nye of the Great Visits the Firehouse. This book was written by Mario Jackson, who is a firefighter for the city of Cincinnati in Ohio. And it is illustrated by Justin Dunn. Naya didn't sleep a wink last night. It's finally the day she's been waiting for. Today is the day she is to visit her aunt, who is a captain at the fire station. As she prepares to depart for work, Naya's mother gives her a big kiss and a snack pack and says, have fun at the fire station with your dad today, baby girl. Naya quickly finishes her breakfast and says, hurry up, dad, and off they went. Naya smiles from ear to ear, bursting with excitement as they walk to the fire station. To Naya, it seems as if they'll never get there. Naya tries to run ahead, but her dad holds tightly to her hand. Slow down, little one. We'll get there soon enough, Dad says. Dad takes a vacation day from work to plan this special day with Naya, but he couldn't have known just how excited Naya would be to visit the firehouse. She's seen big red fire trucks with big ladders, fire engines with fire hoses, each with loud sirens zoom up and down the roads in and around their neighborhood, and the ambulances with their pretty flashing lights. She wants to get there as fast as she can. Finally, we're here, Naya yells as they walk up to the front of the fire station. Station two, she reads on the big sign on the front. The fire truck, fire engine, and ambulance are parked out front. They're getting washed by the firefighters. Good morning, you must be Naya. The captain told us you'd be stopping by today. Naya, I'm so excited to see you, a familiar voice says from the front seat of the fire engine. It's Naya's aunt who jumps down from the front seat and gives Naya a big hug. You're just in time to help me with my morning checks. Are you ready? Yes, Naya screams, that's awesome. Jump up in the fire engine and tell me if you see everything as I call it out to you. Do you see my flashlight? Check, Naya says. What about my walkie-talkie? Check, Naya again says. Naya then points to something on the seat and says, Auntie, what is this? It looks like a mask for divers. Well, Naya, that helps me breathe when I go into fires. It's very important. Without it, I can't do my job safely. Other firefighters check their equipment as well. The driver checks all the lights on the engine and firefighters who ride in the back check their tools, like the axe and sealing tools. We make sure our tools and equipment are clean and ready for use, one of the firefighters says to Naya. Naya has watched fire engines roll down her street many times from her bedroom window, but has never been this close to them. She's never noticed that the wheels are bigger than she is. Nor has she noticed how big the ladder on top of the ladder truck is or the many rows of fire hose on the engine. She's never really noticed just how loud the horns are, so loud she covers her ears with her hands. Follow me to the office, Naya's aunt says as they walk through the big building. We have to practice things we may have to do during emergencies. We call these drills and we practice every day so we won't forget. If it's okay with you, I'm going to give you a few drills so you can practice with your family at home to help keep everyone safe. It's okay, Naya responds. Naya's aunt gives her a list of three items for, for which she is up for the task. Change the batteries and all the smoke alarms. Agree on a safe place to meet outside if there's a fire and make sure windows and doors aren't blocked by trash or large boxes. Naya, I've got something very special for you, her aunt says as she opens a closet door in the office. Here's a new fire helmet for you, just like the one I wear. Naya is excited to receive her new helmet. To her, it's the coolest helmet she's ever seen. It's red with yellow stickers, very shiny, and best of all, fits just right. As soon as she puts it on, she feels like a real firefighter. Naya couldn't be happier. As Naya and her father prepare to walk back home, Mr. Lewis, the driver of the fire engine, comes from the kitchen with a box. Inside are chocolate chip cookies, Naya's favorite cookie. Your aunt told us you like chocolate chip cookies, so we got you some to take home. Thank you so much for coming and visiting, visiting us, Mr. Lewis says. Naya can't believe it. A new helmet and cookies. This is the best day ever, she tells her dad. 
While walking home, still smiling from her visit to the fire station, Naya and her dad hear sirens in the distance. As the noise of the sirens becomes closer, they realize it's firefighters from station two. As the fire engine passes by, Naya's aunt gives her a wink from the front seat and Mr. Lewis blows the horn. Yep, still loud, Naya yells to her dad over the noise of the sirens. The end. Thank you so much for listening today. And I hope you consider a job in the fire service.